What's going on YouTube? Bryce Builds It All, your favorite AMPIA and Part 147 instructor, back with another video. And this time, I hold in my hand the Aircraft Magneto. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about how an Aircraft Magneto works. So if that interests you, stick around. So the first things first in this, we need to understand the power generation of a magneto. This is the top portion of the magneto responsible for timing, and this is the bottom portion of the magneto responsible for actually generating the power that will create the spark for the spark plugs. Now, this is a Bendix magneto made by Bendix. A slick magneto is gonna be very similar, but different. Same, same, but different. And I'd like to start at the bottom with the magnet. So here is the rotating magnet assembly. You can see it right there, okay? And what you have on here is a north and a south. Now, let me see if I can see if this is labeled. I don't think it is. It is. So you have your, your positive or your north and your negative over here. And this magnet spins just like this inside the magneto. So positive, negative, positive, negative. And essentially what happens in a magnet is all of the electrons inside this magnet are facing the positive direction. They're all facing in that same direction because of electrical current and permanent magnetism. That's just how these things work. We're not going to get into the science of a magnet. All you need to know is that a magnet works because all of the electrons face in one direction. So I'm going to set this aside for a second and I'm going to pull the coil out of this magneto. Now the little hold down screws are already missing, but if you see these little portions in here, these are called the pole shoes. And what the pole shoes do is help to align the magnet so that when the magnet, hold on, let's see if I can, it's kind of hanging in place there. When the magnet spins and lines up with these pole shoes and the coil is installed, I'll go ahead and put this back in here, it makes sort of a circuit, if you will. Now, a magneto generates alternating current, and it does that for a reason. When the positive is on the right side, the electrons are going to flow counterclockwise. But when it spins around to the left side, I just shocked myself, when it spins around to the left side, it's going to flow around the other direction. Now, we've got the magnet back out of the way, and often the um, comparison that I will give my students in the classroom, let's say this was the classroom. This is not a coil, this is a classroom. And right now it's trying to stick in there because the magnets are lined up. There you go. So let's say that this was my classroom, and right now, the magnet is lined up with the pole shoes. And what I like to tell my students is, you're sitting in the classroom, there's a glass window behind us, and all of a sudden, a whole bunch of people run past screaming fire, past the window. If any of my students tell me that they would just sit there and go, oh, anyways, and go back to their business, they're lying to you. If a whole bunch of people run past you screaming fire, you're probably going to run with them to get away from the fire. Now, vice versa, when the people run the other way, you're going to follow. And this is kind of how magnetic fields work. And I realize this is a very oversimplified explanation of it, but it's the easiest way to help you understand it, that when the positive and negative side of the magnet line up with the pole shoes, it creates that electron flow through the coil. Now, I'm gonna pull the coil out and we're gonna talk about the coil specifically. Let me get this off of E-gap so that it'll come out of here a little easier. There we go. Okay. The coil has something called a primary and a secondary windings, okay? This is the ground, so this goes to ground. These are the pole shoes that the power is coming through, and then there's actually two coils coming through here. Now, this little wire is actually my primary coil, and this little copper tab here is my secondary coil. And we're not talking about the, the top part of the magneto, but we will here in a second. This top wire actually comes up here to these guys called the breaker points. Let me see if I can, camera can focus. And if I open it, you can see those breaker points open and close. I will talk more about those in a second, but what you need to understand is that when the magnet starts to line up with the pole shoes, the current starts to flow, but when the, ma when the magnet and the magneto hit something called E-gap, or efficiency gap, where it is the most efficient, the points, these guys, will open, the field and the primary windings will collapse, and the secondary windings here will fire and go out to the spark plugs through the distribution block. So one, two, three, and four. Now that means if I've got one, two, three, and four, that one will fire center electrode to outer electrode, two will fire outer electrode to center electrode, three will fire, and so on and so forth. So because the magneto is generating AC current, 
one spark plug, or the spark plug in firing order, I should say, is firing from the center electrode to ground. The next spark plug in the firing order is firing from the ground back to the center electrode because the current's moving in the other direction. And then same with this one. It would fire from center to outer, and this one would fire from outer to center. So that's why we rotate our spark plugs every 100 hour inspection or every annual to keep the wear generated by that even across all the spark plugs. You didn't ask, that's not what this is about. So again, current flows through the coil, the points open, the primary circuit or the primary field collapses and the secondary windings charge and send that spark out to the spark plug. That's what's happening down here in the bottom of the magneto. Relatively simple. I'm going to pull this out of my way one more time and I'm going to put the top back on. Let's talk about how this top part actually works. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this coil out of here. Remember, this is the primary and this is the secondary. The secondary coil rides right here through a carbon distribution block and the primary wire, see if I can get this thing back together, okay, the primary wire would actually come up and connect over here on the points. Now I have adjusted this to almost its maximum limit so that we can hopefully see this a little better and I'm trying to get my camera to focus but it might not. If you see as I rotate this main drive shaft that is connected to the magnet you see the points open and then they close again. And then when the cam comes around, they open and they close again. Now, what this is doing is providing the ground for the primary circuit in the coil. So every single time these points open, that ground is taken away and the current has no choice but to flow through the secondary windings into the distribution block and out to the spark plug. Pretty simple. Now, again, this is a very rudimentary uh, discussion of how a magneto works and there are a lot of videos already on YouTube with animations and drawings to help you understand the circuit so I recommend you look up one of those if you're still confused and like I said I know I did keep it very simple for this video but the important part about this to remember is that you have a primary and a secondary windings in your coil that your magnet is positive and negative so it's generating AC current as it spins and the last thing that I didn't talk about is this timing. So the distribution block, just like a distributor on an old hot rod, is timed to the magnet. So that when the positive lines up with the pulse shoe, it first fires the number one cylinder. And I don't know the firing order of this magneto or what engine this is in. So we're just gonna call it one, two, three, four to keep it simple. But a firing order would probably be something like one, three, two, four, or one, four, three, two, something like that. But we'll call it one, two, three, four for the sake of simplicity. And this is timed together. So every single time this magnet makes one full revolution this will make one half of a re revolution meaning it takes the magnet to rotate two times to rotate the distribution block one time and that's where we come back to that whole spark plug positive and negative because the plugs fire both with the spark plug in a negative electron flow and a positive electron flow and it alternates for each spark plug, which means that my wear on my spark plug electrodes changes each time. Anyways, put that back together. I hope you found this helpful. I kind of rambled there a little bit in the middle. It can be difficult to explain these things, but I do hope that you found this a little helpful. Like I said, there are videos and things out there to help you understand this a little bit better. If we were sitting in a classroom and I had a whiteboard and all of the uh, instructional age, I would probably take several hours to fully detail the inner workings of a magneto but i try to keep my youtube videos to 10 minutes if you're still confused maybe i'll make more videos on this let me know what you would like to see as always leave us a like leave us a comment subscribe as always go build something and be easy